Okay guys, in uh, this tutorial I just want to talk about how to create your own channel in freenode.net. It depends on the policy of the network as you can guess. So, let's start. First you have to have registered nickname and you have to identify. This is the comment which you have to use to identify. For example, let's use the webchat client I'm going to type webchat, of course, if my computer wants to do that, freenode.net. You type your registered nickname, for example, mine is Swingman. You may type the channel, for example, cool CSN. Wow, again, this capture is very difficult. I hope I can read this one. I have the feeling that uh, it's not proving that I'm a person, but I'm a super person also. Okay, connect. Okay, I'm very happy I have been able to connect through their client. Another way, as you as you know, probably from my previous tutorial, is to use a native client. For example, I have a lot. Pigeon is one of them, by the way. And I like uh, XChat, for example. I'm not going to... I'll show you this. It's uh, it's doing the same thing as you can see here. I have my nicknames, my uh, second choice of nickname. I'm gonna close it right now. I'm using, as you can see, the web chat, which is the uh, which is based somewhere in the cloud, and I'm using through the browser in the web. Okay, so I have uh, I just joined the cool CSN. now. This was the first condition, just to join the free node, and after that, identify. I'm not going to identify right now, and I'm not going to execute the comments which I'm showing right now, because I don't want to register another channel. But this is how you identify. Of course, here you have to type your nickname. In my case, I'm going to type Wingman, if I want to identify as a Wingman, and I'm going to type my real password, which should be something complicated, for example, eight characters, numbers, capital letters, special characters, whatever. Okay, once you have been identified, you can go ahead now and register channel. It's nothing else but just joining a channel. Okay, it's that simple. You just join the channel. In this case, um, I'm known as wingman underscore because Swingman is already taken by somebody else and the system automatically just adds one underscore to differentiate between me and the existing user. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create one channel. If the channel doesn't exist it's gonna be created for us. That's all. Join your channel. I'm interested uh, if such thing exists. Let's see. See? Chan server. I guess this channel already exists because I can see here the chan server. Okay. Let's see now. Let's get information about the channel. Here we go. The comment is similar to the name server comment. It's message chan server info your channel. I guess the your channel is already taken by someone, but let's make sure in that. By the way, these messages you can type in all the chat rooms. They are not seen by other guys, only you can see them, but just for any case I'm typing them in the status uh, channel or window if you like. Okay, so here we go. Info your channel, information on your channel, free note stuff. As you can see, free note stuff already has registered this channel, it's not free. And when you go to this chat room, actually, you can see the channel server, which stays there. It's administrator, it's operator of the channel. By the way, if there is uh, no such channel, when you join the channel, you automatically becomes and become an administrator. Okay, let me show you that status. I'm going to join something which uh, probably doesn't exist. For example, join. Stoyan123. It's very easy to create a channel as you can see. You don't even have to type uh, the slash up front. Here we go. I'm operator of this channel. 
I'm administrator, I can get, kick and ban users which come to my channel and I'm determining the rules in this channel which I just created. Okay. So, once you join the channel, you can register the channel. Once you make sure that the channel is not already registered, you can claim that this channel is yours. But as I said, the channel will be linked to your nickname. So that's why mandatory condition is to have the registered nickname. Message chance server register your channel. Of course, I'm, as I said, I'm not going to execute this because in any case, this your channel already have been created. Somebody else has it. I don't want to register uh, Stoyan123 or something else. Let me talk about the policy um, for the channels. Okay, in freenote.net they have two type of channels. One is not primary, topical or reference channel. Okay, let's re read a little bit about uh, this type of channels. So, topical or reference channel channel names formed with two leading hash marks, as you can see here, are allocated on a first come first served basis. In other words, you can create this channel, and nobody else can claim that this channel is his. To unofficial groups wishing to discuss a project group or general topic area, for example, the channel Linux. Look at here, even the Linux channel is a non-primary, topical or reference channel has been reserved for an unofficial group which uses it to provide GNU Linux support to visiting users. If you wonder, I'm tempted to explain what GNU means. Actually, nobody exactly knows what GNU means. It means GNU is not Unix. GNU Linux support for visiting users. Okay, so if you don't have legal reasons to register a channel which uh, has the same name like for example your company or your organization or something else this is a very good idea just to put two hashes before the name of the channel it's a topical okay primary channel primary channels primary channel name formed with a single leading hash mark are reserved for participating groups and organizations based on their legal or informal claim to use uh, to the associated name or name prefix. For example, Freenode has reserved and, ho and holds control on Freenode namespace. That means Freenode has been granted control over channel Freenode as well as any channel beginning with Freenode and after that dash. Okay, so um, I try to create such a channel and actually uh, we have created cool CSN primary channel because we're gonna use it as a namespace uh, for example for Bulgarian chats uh, for um, other discussions for the CMS whatsoever. Okay, so let's continue further. Once you choose the name, probably the name of the channel which you're gonna create will be this one if you don't have uh, other legal reasons for example you wanna create the uh, chat channel uh, for your company okay so once you decide the name you can register as I said and I already showed it to you how to do it and that's all your nickname which has been registered already I repeat this again will be linked to this channel and as far as you exist as a nick in the freenote.net your channel will be reserved will be registered okay. I will repeat again the rule if you don't use freenote for more than 10 weeks somebody could claim this nickname and ask the administrators in freenote channel let's join this channel let me show you that as well okay so join free note oops sorry 
leading hash, join free node. Here we go. Channel server again, as you can see. You can ask the staff, for example, is there a staff? You can type, is there staff? And after that, you can chat with the guys, ask them to drop the nickname, and after that, you pick it up. As I explained in the first tutorial, if you haven't watched it, please go ahead and watch this very short one. And after that, you can pick the nickname, and after that, you can register um, the channel, which actually will be dropped together with the nickname. Unless there is a group registration. In this case, but the group registration, by the way, are not allowed right now. If you go and read, um, here we go. If you go and read here in freenode.net their conditions, you will see that the freenode group registration is currently uh, suspended. So, in other words, right now your only option is to register a nickname and after that link this nickname to a channel. You cannot register a group currently, and if you register a group, of course, the channel will be owned by many people. So dropping your nickname is not the reason to drop the channel. But as I said, this is not the case currently. Soon this will change again, probably. Okay. So if you want to get more information about the channel server, you just type channel serve and you'll get more information about the commands which can be executed as you can see here. Once you register uh, your channel of course you want somebody to be permanently in the channel. I'm just putting a help for the flux just to show you how I'm gonna get the help for the flux and now I start to talk about how to set a guard in your channel. So all your settings will be preserved even if you're not pr currently present in the free node. If you execute this command, MassChan server set your channel guard on, I'll show you what's gonna happen now. Actually I'm not gonna execute that, I'm just gonna show you in cool CSN. This fictitious member will be added to the chat room and is gonna stay there forever. It's there because if everybody leaves the channel somebody else can start such channel, can join this channel and can become an operator. Just to avoid such conflicts you need somebody to stay permanently in the channel and keep your settings because you can uh, change the settings of your channel as you can see here with plus, minus uh, with plus V, plus capital V, O, O. You can read the help. So this is what I wanted to cover. Probably you're not going to create uh, own channel. Probably you're going to join most of the time channels. But I just wanted to cover this topic as well. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And uh, soon I'm going to create another one, which explains why ERC. Thank you again. See you soon.